Hello guys, Raven the Scottish Red Engine here, and welcome to my review on the Playroll Nia and Rebecca. So let's do a review on Nia first. Playroll Nia was first released on 9th of June 2020. She came with a yellow van and a green truck. I would say she looks okay because I never had a Playroll Nia in my entire life. I've spent so many years finding a Playroll Nia online, but I didn't have any luck. Fortunately, when 2023 started, I found her on an unknown website, which is called Totally Thomas, which is similar to Totally Thomas, but still, I really wanted to get the Playroll Nia, so my, so my mum ordered me both Playroll Nia and Rebecca together, because they're a lot better, and I finally got Playroll Nia. The yellow van is just a repaint version from a grey van, and if you look at the face, that face is CGI styled, like the troublesome truck face was removed and was replaced by this CGI face. I think I know why the troublesome truck face was replaced by the CGI face, mainly because this truck came from... Kenya, which is the railway that Nia used to work in Africa. The green troublesome truck looks alright. It's just a repainted version of a grey troublesome truck, which is faceless. I think it looks cool because it reminds me of a truck Molly uses. Like, imagine if Trackmaster 2 made the same pack as the Playroll Nia. It would have come with Trackmaster 2 Nia with a yellow van and a green truck. But sadly, Nia already had a pack as Trackmaster 2. She came with an elephant, which is called Nia and the Elephant. But going back to the pros, I think Nia's design looks brilliant because her design kind of reminds me of Duck's. Although, Duck's design is not exactly the same as Playroll Nia's. The yellow van is extremely detailed, just like the CGI version. I'm not sure if it appeared in the Big World's Big Adventures movie or not, but I think it looks great. And the green troublesome truck, I mean, the faceless tr green truck, is very unique. Now, going to the cons, there's one thing I never liked about Playroll Nia. She reuses Percy's chassis. As you guys can already tell, this is Play Percy's Tommy chassis because I don't know why people made Playroll Nia and gave her Percy's Tommy chassis. Maybe they couldn't make a chassis for Nia because maybe they think it's too hard for them. I'm not angry at them, although I do wish this Playroll Nia could use a few adjustments. I would recommend getting the Playroll Nia because the Trackmaster 2 version of Nia gave me a lot of problems. Even though she may be stronger, still, she's not freewheeling and she caused a lot of derailments to herself whilst running on Trackmaster 2 track. I would give Playroll Nia an 8 out of 10. Now, let's move on to Playroll Rebecca. Okay, so this is the Playroll version of Rebecca, who I got at the start of 2023. Playroll Rebecca was first released in 6th of June 2019. I think 2019, I think 2019 is an okay year for me because it reminded me working in secondary school and my favourite years were year 8 and 10. But going back to Rebecca... I think Playroll Rebecca looks brilliant. She came with a green or turquoise tanker behind her. I think this is just a repaint version of a milk tanker, but instead, I think it is a repaint of a milk tanker because, like, people in 2019 who wanted to make Playroll Rebecca decided to pick up a milk tanker get rid of the letters of milk and repaint the tanker turquoise. Playro Rebecca looks absolutely brilliant. The face looks absolutely detailed and I really like how long she looks. Although I did get the Trackmaster 2 version of Rebecca and she looks absolutely terrible. 
Why? She may be strong, but like Nia, she keeps on derailing, which frustrated me. If you look at the differences between the two Rebeccas, you can already tell the Trackmaster 2 Rebecca is actually shorter compared to the Playroll version because most big engines that were meant to be longer end up getting shrunk and squished. Big engines like Gordon, Henry, Flying Scotsman, Spencer and many other big engines I could think of. But the Playroll Rebecca is absolutely longer than the Trackmaster 2 version of Rebecca because maybe it's just... People wanted to make the Playroll version of Rebecca longer, just like the CGI series. And the Trackmaster 2 version of Rebecca's tender looks terrible, because it's shrunk, just like the other big engines. And Playroll Rebecca's tender looks absolutely... looks absolutely a lot larger compared to the Trackmaster 2 version of Rebecca. There are no cons of what I don't like about Playroll Rebecca. The pros are, I really like how long Playroll Rebecca looks. She looks absolutely detailed, although I did wish she could come with an express coach. I would still recommend getting Playroll Rebecca because, like Nia, she was very hard to find. But that was until 2023. I managed to find her on eBay. I would give Playroll Rebecca a 9 out of 10. Now, let's give her and Nia a test run. <sighs> Sorry guys, it's getting a bit dark in my bedroom. I'm going to turn on the light. There we go. Let's give him a run. Remember when I said I wasn't going to get the playroll Nia and Rebecca? Well, I was silly because I literally thought the Trackmaster 2 versions of Nia and Rebecca were okay, but they kind of give me a downgrade because of their derailments. So that's why I decided to get the playroll Nia and Rebecca because they're freewheeling and they can do anything. And in case you're wondering what's going to happen to my Trackmaster 2 Nia, Nia and Rebecca, I'm not going to use them in my series because I'm worried they might derail themselves again and that will ruin my series. I'm going to use the player on Nia and Rebecca. I hope you all enjoyed my review on the player on Nia and Rebecca. Comment down below to tell me which engine you want me to review next. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and have a good one.